All right, so this is an LMSW 52T Miller spot welder. I showed this to you briefly when I was unloading it from the Jeep a couple weeks ago. So I've got it on the stand here. It's missing the uh, foot actuator to make it a complete uh, hands-free operation. I may or may not rebuild that depending on what I need. So that's uh, the basic spot welder with the tongs. And then here's the, uh, the timer that goes with it. So it has an on-off switch. And then you can set the time in here, I think between zero and five seconds, depending on what you're trying to do. Once you figure out what time you like for your production, you just set it and forget it, just keep hammering away at it. One of the peculiar things about this is that it requires a 30 amp, 220 volt receptacle and that doesn't really exist. So it comes with a 15 amp receptacle, and sorry, it requires a 30 amp breaker. So I ended up just taking uh, a 50 amp cord and setting it up with a proper receptacle here. And my breaker and the, my lighting panel is not that big anyway, so I don't need to worry about any overcurrent protection being uh, an issue. So one thing that's wrong with this Hopefully the only thing that's wrong with it is that the uh, tongs are out of alignment and they're also mushroomed. So you can just... Then there's a switch for uh, hitting it. So you look in the manual for the LMS W52T. It's got some specs here. It's two and a half KVA, so it's pretty powerful. It tells you for the different tongs how much current you can expect out of it. And then uh, I need to align and dress these tips, which is on the next page. So if you got the, the big model like I've got, you dress it with a four millimeter tip, which is 530 seconds, and then for the small units it's uh, eighth inch which is 3.2 millimeter. So mine are kind of the mushroom situation right now so I need to knock uh, that off with the file. Looks like they might actually have a tip tool. But uh, anyway so I'll just uh, go over that quickly and get this machine operational. Alright so in order to uh, align the tips there's some 532nd allen keys here. So you can loosen that off here, here, and then there's also uh, the same on the bottom you can reach in and adjust that. So you could take these off and perhaps clean off this with uh, some steel wool. You can see that you can uh, turn it and with a bit of trial and error you can get the uh, tips lined up. So I'm just going to file these down and get them lined up after the fact. Alright, so there's a bit of a crater in the uh, tips of the tongs. You can actually replace these, but I'm just going to file it down and make it work. And uh, it was transferring onto the bottom one. So obviously if you're not getting good contact, it's going to burn away the copper. It's going to get away on you fairly quick. So you want to maintain this uh, on a regular basis. Alright, so I got the uh, tips of the tongs dressed. They're making good contact now. They're round. It seems that I don't have as much uh, pressure as I did before because I was uh, obviously filing down the copper. I also found that one of the, the bottom tip was actually loose. So use a 916 wrench to uh, tighten this because I said they're removable. I tightened the bottom and the top hex keys and that's uh, got everything firmed up. So the last thing I'm going to do is adjust the uh, tong pressure. They talk about it in the manual and tell you the dangers of having it too much pressure or too little pressure, but they don't tell you what the right pressure is. So I guess that's a, a bit of a trial and error. So I'm going to get that adjusted and then we'll try to spot weld something together. All right, we're going to give this thing a shot. This is my first time ever using it. So whatever happens, happens and we'll, we'll learn from it. So I just have uh, some 18 gauge sheet metal. Still has a coating on it, I haven't prepared it anyway. I plugged this in, everything was good. You turn it on, there's a light that comes in on the timer. I am set to 
point five. That seems kind of low. Let's try two seconds. Hopefully, it's not the longest two seconds of my life. So I don't know if this is in the on position right now. I guess it is. All right. So. Clamp this thing in here and see what happens. Alright, already got two seconds out of her. And it's not welded together, like the tongs aren't welded together. So you got one spot. Say, forever to be joined. So definitely clean the coating off if you want to get a better weld than that. Otherwise it's uh, as simple as that. Just turn it on, hold and wait, and it'll turn itself off and be ready for another go. So thank you for watching.